Yo, what is good, Bless Gang? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the video. And today we're gonna be making a Chris Brown type beat. I really hate saying type beat. We just say, we're gonna make a vibe in the studio. That's what we do, right? As producers, we make vibes happen, right? So I've been a big fan of Chris Brown for like a very long time. So I guess you could say this is one of my favorite type of genres to make. Now, even though I'm not the best at it, but I still love making it. I think we can all relate to that, right? So before we get to the rest of this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done that already, because it really helps this channel grow. And I'm very grateful for everybody that does it anyways. So thank you so much. But now let's get to making some vibes. Bless those keys, the RMC. All right, so real quick, I just want to give a shout out to Toner for sending me this TC30 microphone. Big shout out to them. Thank you for always sending me some good stuff. I might be giving this one away. So let me know down in the comments if that's something that interests you guys. Yeah. But anyways, before I started recording, I was already working on this cool chord progression in the key of A. I was playing something like this. So now we just got to look for a good sound. I always think, you know, whatever instrument pops up, I think the classic electric piano is cool to start a melody and logic, but then I like to switch the sound around just to find something that sounds pretty cool. Okay, so I'm trying to find like a really subtle vocal chop inside RK. Nothing that stands out too crazy because I am going to add a lead after this. So I think, I think that'll work. Just that little simple vocal chop. So let's just add that in. Okay, now I'm just trying to find this nice, subtle lead that'll just blend right in with the rest of his instruments. So let's get it. Let's bring that one down. Now we're talking.
with the clap. Let's go with the clap. Well, sometimes I have all my presets already ready. Like right here it says cook clap right here. You see, it's cook clap. And then I can change it to whatever I want. But the preset is already there, so yeah. missing right that little trah, that clap that goes like trah. you know what I mean right so I know at first it sounds like this right some of you guys leave it like this it's not gonna sound good at all you gotta make sure you're making the volume come from lowest to the top so like this you just gotta go ahead and adjust the volume on each single MIDI so, so it can sound like that but I think we could pitch it up even more so let's just pitch this up. oops what did I do so that's a little tip right there you just click on this tool right here and you adjust the velocity on each note so your hi-hat is what's going to determine how much bounce your beat is going to have. Always keep that in mind. Your hi-hats are the bounce of the beat. So we can either go straight or we can cut in the hi-hats here and there. So I can have more bounce. Something like this. vibes so now we got to do is just add that 808 yes there's gonna be an 808 you thought that bass was the only bass we were gonna add come on come on all right so i arranged the beat a little bit and added some effects and a crash now on these risers and the crash, they're very noticeable in this type of production, so the volume is not low. You kind of have to mix them accordingly to whatever you feel, you know, sounds good. But this is the final result, so let's hear it.